Hello good people! As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be my review of the Flip Ultra HD. I'd like to thank Pure Digital once again for allowing me to review their camera. I really hope you guys enjoy the review and hopefully this will help you guys make a better decision to see if this camera is right for you. But without further ado, here is my review of Pure Digital's Flip Ultra HD. The Flip Ultra changed the way the world captures and shares video to make it easy, accessible, and most of all fun, said Jonathan Kaplan, chairperson and CEO of Pure Digital. Our new Flip Ultra HD takes us to the next level by making it incredibly simple and affordable for anyone to capture and share hours of video in stunning HD. The Flip Ultra HD is Pure Digital's newest camera and may very well be its best. Now here is a brief hardware overview of the Ultra HD. Starting with the front, we have this nice rubberized matte finish, easy to grip, as well as the lens, which zooms up to two times digital. On this chrome bezel, we have the power button. On the back, we have a left and right button for browsing through clips, as well as a plus and minus button for zooming in and zooming out. The red button to record. We have the play button and the trash button. And the built-in microphone is right here at the top, as well as the new 2-inch bright no-glare screen. Moving on to the other chrome bezel, we have the HDMI port, so you can plug your Ultra HD into your TV and watch high-quality videos on there, as well as you have your USB connector. A new feature to the Flip Ultra HD is that it runs on two AA batteries. Pure Digital is nice enough to send anyone who purchases their camera a pack of rechargeable batteries. Changing the batteries is very simple. All I have to do is just flip the switch at the bottom of the Flip Ultra HD, and slide the top off. Now the biggest question about the Flip Ultra HD is how good is the video and audio quality? Well, here is a clip right now that I filmed with my Apetek HD, the camera I was previously using before the Flip Ultra HD. This is an audio and video test for my review of the Flip Ultra HD. And now here is the same clip filled with the Flip Ultra HD. This is an audio and video test for my review of the Flip Ultra HD. As you can see, there is a pretty clear significant difference between the Apetek HD and the Flip Ultra HD. In my opinion, the Flip Ultra HD wins by far. There's actually one point I'd like to bring your attention to, and it's when I was capturing my pool. As you can see, with the Apetek HD, there is a huge glare by the pool. However, when filming with the Flip Ultra HD, there is no glare at all. One problem you may come across when using the Flip Ultra HD is that fingerprints collect very easily along the chrome bezel. However, this can be easily solved with a wipe of a chamois, a microfiber, or the bag that Pure Digital sends you when purchasing the Flip Ultra HD. Another problem you might find is when plugging in the Ultra HD into your computer. It does plug in by USB. The USB is built in. However, when you plug it in like this, it does get lopsided and the camera does tend to hang low, putting a lot of strain right here where the USB connects to the Ultra HD. However, this can be easily solved by just taking the shimmy that you used to wipe your fingers off the chrome bezel and sticking it under, making it nice and level. Another solution would just be to lay the camera flat down on its base. And using one of these, a USB port to USB, plug that in right there and plug that into your computer. The Flip Ultra HD rates in at a 9.5 out of 10 on my Epic scale for its ease of use and high audio and video quality. The Ultra HD comes in two colors, black and white, both complete with the chrome bezel on the side. If you are interested in purchasing the Ultra HD, it comes in about $200 and can be purchased at Best Buy, BestBuy.com, Walmart, Walmart.com, Target, Target.com, TheFlip.com, and other leading retail stores. My name is Matt Fisher. I'd like to thank you guys for watching the review of the Ultra HD, and very special thanks to Pure Digital for allowing me to review their product.